Right, broskies. There we go. Where has the broski been? You may be asking. I'm asking myself the same question. Um, let's just get into it. I mean, for those who don't know, I did move from London to Manchester. And I know a lot of you may be thinking, why, bruh? Why? Ugh, I just had enough of London. Like, I'm touching 30. I am 30. What am I talking about? Almost 31, bruh. I've just had enough. I've, like, lived in London near enough my whole life. Working in the thick of it in central London for TFL, the London Underground, for those who don't know, which are, like, trains underground. And it just gets to a point. You just look back at life and you're just thinking, what do I value? What do I want from life? Where do I see myself going? And what do I want to make my future self like happy with in terms of my decisions right now and I chose peace happiness putting my money into smart things or smarter things in terms of what I was doing before I'm not talking about shoes bruh because shoes you know that's smart to an extent <laughs> if you're not paying resale um or too much anyway but yeah so obviously we moved to London Moved from London, sorry, to Manchester. Still getting used to the accents, you know. I think, you know, need to get subtitles on certain people, but it is what it is. Obviously, we got the house and then we started getting the ball rolling, you know, decorating, plastering, all the normal generic stuff. And then, yeah, we hit a roadblock. All of a sudden, we need rewiring done for the electrics. So that was like, ah, it's pushed back the initial move couple weeks later or a couple weeks late than we wanted um but on the plus side you always have to look at things that on a positive note that's where we're at, at the moment so inshallah god willing i need all your prayers and duas that everything's fine and fixed and sorted like a packet of crisps shout out to walkers you know quicker than than later sooner than later because i'm going insane like i haven't got my own studio or my own sort of like spot to record I'm staying with family at the minute with my missus. So like we're in like one room, me and my missus, and I'm like, ah, do you know what I mean? So that's why the hold up has been as long as it is. I have pre-recorded a couple videos uh, that my missus purchased actually, which was the Metcon 7s, the Nike Metcon 7s, which is sort of like a training shoe. Also the Nike Juniper running shoe. I think that's what they're called. Can't lie. They are naughty. I might actually get myself a pair because they're really nice. And I need a new uh, gym shoe. So that might be on the cards. Like Blackjack. Those reviews will be coming. And I will get my missus to waffle on about them. She's actually wearing them like the past week or so. And she's going to give me her sort of ongoing review. How they're shaping up. How they are with training and, and yada yada yada. Also the Air Max 90 Infrared Gore-Tex. I did post up on my channel uh, the community tab and on my instagram the purchase links so they're out which is amazing i'm not sure about us yet however they're on the way they should be here by today or tomorrow god willing again we get that review out in a couple of days even if i have to chat like this while showing you me wearing them because i'm going to be wearing them it's a gore-tex it's an mx 90 infrared og colorway my favorite shoe ever in terms of that colorway and that shoe and i'm yeah in manchester who knew it rains even more than London. Who knew? But yeah, there's a lot of rain here. And it's like crazy rain. You know, like Usher dancing in the rain, rain. That sort of rain. London, you can kind of tolerate because there's more buildings everywhere. You know, shelter, whatever else. But here, bruh, you could swim in it. But anyway, Air Max 90 Infrared Gore-Tex review should be out in a couple of days time. You know, God willing, fingers and toes and nostrils crossed. Nostrils? How would you... Cross your nostrils. It's been a long day. Right, broskies, like the legend that I am, I actually forgot to mention the two last pickups from last year. And I can't lie, they're not the most hype, but I really did want them. And it was definitely hard to say no with Nike's Black Friday deals. So the first one I picked up was the Air Max 95 Grey Reflective, I think they're called. You know, not the most exciting Air Max 95 ever, but defo something new, especially with that reflective strip going across the upper. And you're not gonna believe me, 
but these were only 90 pounds. Yes, 90 quid. I can't remember the last time an Air Max 95 retailed for that much. I did also pick up an all black Nike Victory One slides. Now I do currently still wear the black and red one and they are starting to look slightly worn. So for like 20 quid for a new pair, I think it would have been rude not to. I will be doing an individual review for both of these, so keep an eye out broskies, but I thought I'd just mention that. Not the most hype pickups from last year, but Defo ones I really did enjoy getting. Anyways, broskies, that's just an update. Catch up with the broskies, like Heinz. Catch up. Catch up. Nah, that was a good one. Come on. But yeah, I've upgraded where I could, you know. New tripod is sort of horizontal now, so I can get better panning shots, sort of rotating shots, like, you know, more professional. A new sort of vlogging style camera, so I can sort of, if I wanted to, just sort of run and gun, you know, like show you outside more active, more active uh, reviews. A new mic, you know, got the old wireless go to by Rode, shout out to Rode. And yeah, we're, we're stepping up in the background. Don't think we're not working because we are. It's just the content has just been on pause, but in the background, you know, we're still working. We're planning. We're getting all these things done and set in place, inshallah, God willing, for the studio just to level up and provide you broskies with the best content that the broski has produced. I'm not even looking at Bill from down the road. I don't care what they're doing. I care what I'm doing, yeah? And that's that. But shout out to everyone. Shout out to the sneaker community. Shout out to the broskies, all of you guys. Hope you had an amazing new year and Christmas. I had so much planned, man. Top 10s of the year, top 10 sneakers of 2023, top 10 pickups, all of this. I may still do that. It just might be way later than expected. And yeah, we might just have a sit down on a podcast and a live stream and just catch up properly. When all things are set and done, and inshallah, God willing again, you know, it's sooner than later. But that's just where we're at, broskies. I hope you guys are doing better, better than I am at the minute. But anyways, we're going to... We're going to end that there, I think, because this is an absolute mess. I don't know if you can see it. We've got like flooring packed up here. We've got... Relax, relax. Anyways, <laughs> I miss you, broskies. And of course, as always, until the next episode, take care.